Now power lines have been covered with snow just like these branches are, which is causing power outages all over the city. Receive a Delta Prize for Global Understanding. Found a pipe bomb during a routine traffic stop near three damage all around campus, but we also saw employees hard at work to get things back together. Turns out it's all for a good cause. That's right, Libba. Some people are getting healthy by thinking smarter, not farther. Right here in Athens, Georgia, where the snow is falling like the North Pole, meteorologists estimate that up to four inches of snow fell, which made it pretty hard for drivers this morning. <laughs> Dusty has a new best friend, and she's not your typical four-legged pooch. The adorable three-month-old chocolate lab is on a mission, and her handler, Christina Pelicane, is here to help her out. Dusty is a puppy in training for the Guide Dog Foundation for the Blind. Dusty, I mean, she's still young, but she's a lot more like, I just want to play and frolic and, you know, don't really want to work yet. Little Dusty spends virtually every minute of every day with Christina in hopes of becoming a future guide dog. That means Dusty's in class and at work every day. And of course she rides the bus, something that many blind people must do every day. It's a tough job, and only truly dedicated handlers like Christina can do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like having a baby, to be honest, at this age at least, because I have to bring um, like a diaper bag pretty much. I have to bring trash bags for when she poops. I have to bring paper towels for she pees inside. I have to bring a food bowl and food with her for lunch. This labor of love will make a huge impact in someone's life. Dogs like Dusty will go on to make life easier for blind people across the country, but not before they go through several months of training under some strict guidelines. The rule is look but don't touch. In order for a handler to establish a bond with the puppy in training, that means hands off for other people. In addition to this, it's important that puppies are well disciplined so that they can be reliable for their future owners. In the meantime, Dusty has only a few more months of training with Christina, and he's well on his way to becoming the best guide dog he can be. Chainsaws and rakes have become the most handy tools around campus for the past few days. Sunday snowfall may have been beautiful, but the aftermath is not so pretty, and the UGA physical plant is left to clean up the mess. A lot of tree damage. I haven't seen much building damage. I've seen a couple cars damaged, windshields out. Most of the damage is right in the path of students and faculty and could be a hazard to everyone's safety. For the past few days, the plan has been working hard to get these problems cleared up so no one gets hurt. I've seen saw some accidents on the way in that probably didn't need to be. One of the plant's biggest jobs is disposing of the trees and branches that have fallen down. Many of them are laying in the streets and sidewalks and the sheer size of many of these trees is making it a real task to move them quickly. It's not uncommon to see huge uprooted trees just like this all over Athens. The physical plant says it could take up to a week and a half just to get the campus back to normal. Slippery ice has also been a significant danger for people walking around campus and one that's not easy to control. As temperatures rise this week, most of the ice will melt away. In the meantime, physical plant employees are putting in extra effort to keep the streets safe. Athens residents are buying into the latest health craze. The 100 mile diet is a new movement to eat only foods that were grown within 100 miles of where you live. The 100 mile dieters must choose grocery stores that buy their produce directly from local organic farmers. The founder of a local agricultural society said that the key is not to do it all at once. You know, just do 5% local food or have one um, meal a week that is all from local sources or just pick one thing that you really love straight from a farm um, and eat that. The benefit of eating local is that you cut out many of the processed and chemically enhanced foods that you would find at a traditional grocery store. The Athens Co-op on Prince Avenue is almost all locally stocked, but eating locally won't come cheap. A lot of the customers here do like to try to get local things rather than, I mean, they'll buy things that cost more money if they're local than, than things that they could get cheaper that came from, you know, a thousand miles away and things like that. He finds that buying locally helps customers to have a better sense of community with the people who grow their food. And in the long run, buying locally is much less costly to our environment. One of the benefits of eating locally is that there's much less need for excess packaging. Vegetables like these came straight from farms right here in Athens. At the end of the day, the 100 mile diet is not one of those fad diets for people who want to lose weight quick. It's all about making good choices for a lifetime of good health.